Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Borders Gate. Last episode, if I remember correctly, I believe we'd gone on a bit of an exploration throughout the entirety of the sewers of this place. Did a little bit of killing, wandering, and all that sort of stuff. And now that that's all taken care of, the time has come for us to continue the main quest, which involves investigating the Iron Throne. Well, we did investigate another of the merchant, the other two merchant companies, and it seems they had been uh, invaded by shapeshifters. The Iron Throne's likely behind it, so let's go in here and see what sort of information we can find. We did already kind of get it in when we said we'd be willing to be hired. Let's see what we can find. All my stuff is authentic. Really, it is. What is your business here? If you're here about obtaining iron shipments for your company, then you'd be best to do it elsewhere. We have no interest in dealing with other companies. Yes, I imagine. Okay, nothing on the bottom floor here. Let's take a look upstairs. Ron Wind in here. Thank you. Where do you think you're going? the fifth floor. Saravok asked us to deliver an important message to his acolytes. Hmph. Better you than me. Working with that crowd can be downright creepy some days. Creepy? How do you mean? I see people go up there with... with one face and come back down with another. I don't know how else to say it. I've got a keen eye for faces, I do, and I think... I think the people going up and down know it, too, because one time one of them caught me looking at him and he winked right at me and the... and he changed the colors of his left eye, right as I was watching him. It started out a chocolate brown, but then it went all quicksilver for a moment, like the mercury the mages play with. And then he was gone and out the door, laughing his high-pitched laugh. Well, mark my eyes now and mark them well. If they go all quicksilver when I come back down, take that dagger from your belt and gouge the offending eye from my skull quick as a lightning, because it won't be my own. I don't know what's going on, but you're right. It's creepy, and had I a choice, I'd want no part of it. Hi, friend, I wish we all had no part in it. But I have marked your eyes and your face as well. I pray they do not shift on me. Something is r What is it? Investigating the Iron Throne. Okay. Something is rotten in the Iron Throne Tower, something that is cancerous and malignant and... and growing. Dratan, one of the Tower Guards, has informed me of something most dire. It seems that the Throne has been inviting their competitors in the Seven Sons in the Merchants League to the Tower's fifth floor, and then doing something horrible to them. Are they being turned into zombies of a sort? Are they being poisoned with a powerful drug? Are they being replaced somehow? I don't know. Regardless, the implications are staggering and, to be honest, terrifying. I must steel myself and continue my ascent, however, for I know not what else to do. If you insist. Well, I think we do know what it is, though. Shapeshifters. Changelings. Whatever the hell they'd be called. At least we got his alliance. Okay, up to the third floor. I should have joined the army. You there! What are you doing here? I don't recognize you. Hmm. Calm down, we're new recruits. We just haven't gotten our uniforms yet. Get a move on then and put your uniforms on. Well. Hmm? Nortuary? Wait a moment. Could you please tell me where I could find a real tar? It's important that I speak to him. I've been given the runaround too long. Real tar's damn son, Saravok, seems to think he's in charge here. We must ask for a name before we go telling the whereabouts of, our I of Iron Throne high ups. I'm Nortuary, and your Iron Throne high up answers to me. I've just arrived from Selgaunt in Symbia. The council wishes to know how things are faring. Now tell me where I can find real tar. Realtar's in the upper offices at the moment. If you go up there, I'm sure you'll catch him. Good! Finally, I get a straight answer. We'll see what happens with him. 
emissary Don't give me any lip, peasant. Do you know who I am? At last, someone who looks like they could be of some assistance. The assorted boobs and dimwits around here have been a very little help. <laughs> I'm dimwit, and th this is my good friend Boob, and behind me you'll find brainless and moron. How do you two? <laughs> you know, even if I... Well, I haven't gone into it. I Even if I do have a few dislikes about how the uh, conversations and choices, choice options are present, I do like some of the comedy that they manage to throw in sometimes. Of course, how may I assist you, ma'am? Ma'am this, ma'am that. I have little desire to suffer through more of your flat gentility. You may call me Emissary Tar and direct me towards the great, the nearest staircase. I have some important business to conduct on the fifth floor on behalf of the Grand Dukes. Hmm. Ma- Emissary Tar, would it be untoward of me to inquire as to the nature of your business on the fifth floor? It is hardly a secret. The Grand Dukes have sent me to negotiate a new iron treaty with Thaldorn. It appears that the Merchants League and the Seven Sons have voluntarily granted the Iron Throne temporary control over their minds in order to simplify the city's structure and thereby strengthen the war effort, should it come to that. I am here to ensure that we have access to that iron at a favorable price. The Iron Throne has been more than cooperative with us to date, and I doubt that they will change their tune now. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have no intention of being late for my negotiations. My chance meeting with the Grand Duke's chief negotiator, Emissary Tar, has provided me with new clues. The Merchants League and the Seven Sons have temporarily relinquished their minds to the Iron Throne in support of the upcoming war effort. They may find the temporary loan becomes all too permanent. Hmm. And here we have the kitchen. Doubt there's anything of any note or value in any of these. I admit, I've been slacking a bit on my explorations in the games late in the game lately. Especially with uh, buildings and the like. I don't know why. Oh, we found a bartender. You want some whiskey? Hey there, mate. Don't recognize you, which is strange, considering I know everyone here at the Iron Throne. Why don't you tell me who you are? We're new recruits. We haven't been given an assignment yet. Oh, I see. Well, if you're wondering where you'll be assigned, I'd bet it would be with the Black Talons down in the Wood of Sharp Teeth. They've lost quite a few members lately and are in desperate need of new recruits. Hmm. Interesting. What you want? Hmm, hello. You must be the city negotiators. Let me see here. Emissary... Emissary Tar? Right on time, and a pleasure to meet you. My name is Destus Gurn, Assistant Chief Accountant for the Iron Throne's operations on the Sword Coast. Now just a quick briefing on our negotiating procedures before you head on up the stairs. Thaldorn will be accompanied by a board of six Iron Throne advisors sent to us from abroad. Zalamar, Cloudwolf, Gardouche, Naman, Diab, Asa... Asim and Alai, all of them quite respectable men and eager to meet you. We also have a seventh member on that board today, Mr. Lyle Espigeau. He is there to ensure that things are smoothly in this time of transition. As for the agenda... Please, Mr. Gurn, I have my own copy of the agenda and no desire to waste any more time here than necessary. If you would be so kind as to allow me to proceed upstairs to the negotiations, I would be very grateful. Yes, true. Very well, then, Emissary Tar. Proceed upstairs and don't allow me to keep you here a moment longer. Great things are afoot, and I am very proud to have met you on behalf of the Iron Throne, and I hope for everyone's sake that the negotiations proceed swiftly. Yes, thank you. It seems the Iron Throne is negotiating a treaty with the city's Grand Dukes. Is this simple treaty the key to ending all the unrest of the past season, or is it just another link in the long chain of motivations? Will money satisfy the throne's greed, or is there something more behind it all? I have so many questions. While I feel close to finding answers, I somehow doubt that they will be quite as fulfilling as I hope. Mm. I love money. Ooh. I have a feeling I probably shouldn't take anything here. That would probably just, uh, count as stealing. Well, not take anything now. 
I have a feeling once we get up to the fifth floor here, things are going to get, uh, a little violent. Let me save before we run up to the fifth floor. All right, up we shall go. Fear my wrath, for it is great indeed. Who dares intrude upon our negotiations? Uh-oh. Emissary Tar is here. My name is Frederick Lionheart. I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Frederick Lionheart, you say? Ah, yes. Saravak warned us you might try to meddle. That meddling will stop here, however. Certainly a little coin would ease your conviction a bit. A little gold to make you turn the other way. You have breached an inner circle, fool. There are no hired lackeys for you to bribe here. No mercenaries that slather at the sound of coins. We are servants of Saravok and Saravok alone, selected by hand to protect his destiny. You are an insect. You will be crushed. His will be done. Go for the eyes, fool. Go for the eyes, Okay. We're taking damage, but we are killing them. Looks like that emissary tar appeared to be a doppelganger, though. And we also appear to be hunting with the Let me do a reload for a sec here. So, what if I do say I'm emissary tar? My name is Emissary Tar. I am here to negotiate an iron treaty with Thaldorn on behalf of the Grand Dukes. How many Emissary Tars do we have now? Three? Fool, Miss Tar stands right before you and she was just leaving, weren't you, my dear? Honestly, this has gone on long enough. And who are you to say so? I've crushed all those before you. Those before us were fools, as you are. Those before us were weak, as you are. Those before us were not Zalamar or Gardouche or Naman or Diab or Assam or Asim or Alai. Those before us are dead, as you will be. So it has been decreed, so it shall be done. So orders Saravok. All right. That's this hard. time, let's try casting a few spells. Why don't we? You, uh, hmm. You know what? Let's try out this ice storm spell. Cast it right there, why don't you? By and Temple you... Shield. Go ahead and cast a prayer. For the glory of hell here! Died yet. Dinner, maybe you should try casting another spell while you can. You know what? Finish off Gardouche. And we lost someone. Damn it! Okay, reloading. We should do a little preparation beforehand. Don't think there's too much I can do. An improved invisibility might help. You can go ahead and do bless, I think. What would you have me do? It'll help right. us a lot. Very well. Okay. Let's get in here. Whatever Once again, let's try that casting of Ice Storm that seemed to actually be surprisingly effective. What is your command? You if I want you to get in range and get 
A mist cast magic on demand. Who appears to have run off anyway. You appear to be taking a fair bit of damage, which I do not care for. You get a healing on him. And we're all running around terrified. Damn it! Do you have any other spell? Try casting this here. Maybe that'll terrify them and get them to stop. That got a few of them. But not enough. We lost Mist. God damn it, gotta reload again. This is not gonna be easy. Not at all. By Temple Shield! I can get a bless out. We have haste! I forgot. This will actually be worth it to cast, I think. So let's cast it. What would you have me do? All right, all right. All right. If you insist. All right, let's try this again. I want you to get those dead. You, you know what? Don't bother with casting that. Do cast. Try horror again. You get that spell cast out on demand. Looks like a few people are actually starting to run. Excellent. Okay, you get off that one, get on Diab. You. How about you get, uh... Mel Sassin Arrow on a lie here. Something. Oh, right, you can't cast it on people who are, uh... Invisible. Oh, and our guys are all running around terrified. God damn it. Can you finish off Zalamar? Thank you. Bronwyn, you finish off Diab, if you can. Thank you. Cast any other spells here. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with lightning bolt. The lie is near death, unfortunately. Okay, we've almost got them all. All we have left is Gardu. Gardouche dead, and we're good. I'm not going to do that. Chromatic Ore, try that. Ooh! How about you paralyze him? That'll work. And now, all the rest of our team can go finish this guy off. Go for it. There we go. Mission accomplished. All right, all right. Took a little bit of work, but we got it all. Now, let's pick up all this stuff. We got bracers. We got coins. More coins. 
helmet. I don't think we need some potions, more coins. Oh, there is a lot of loot here that I'd love to have. Okay, put all the potions in. Let's see. Pick up anything unidentified. And we have a scroll, which says, I have a task for you and those you have selected. You, the first of the faithful, are to stand ground in my stead. Be assured that I would not belittle your devotion with simple guard duty. This chore is of particular interest to me, and thus to you. Frederick Lionheart has become a thorn in my side. I wish it removed. Do so, and you shall please me greatly. Such is your charge. Do not fail in this. Sarevok. That'll be important. I don't think we need this one anymore. Alright, any other loot we have here? Well, we have plenty of scrolls. I can say that. They wish my ear. I don't know if there's any that you can learn. What is this? Minor sequencer. Store two spells and activate them both at the same time from his special ability button. Ooh. Hmm. That's interesting. Store up to two spells that can be cast at the same time. I like that. It seems like it can only be used once, but still. Hmm. What else have we got? Monster summoning one, no. Fireball. Okay, grab that. Dispel magic. I guess grab one of those. Vocalize? Use your friends wisely. Not all are as trustworthy as... Okay, okay. It's like silence spell. Thank no alignment, I don't care. Words. Protection scroll, protection from normal missiles. Which do you have for some reason? I don't know why. I feel like minor sequencer would be one that would be nice to be able to cast. So if we cast that. So, the only spells memorized here would be protection from petrification and invisibility. Well, sure, alright. You can cast both of those at the same time now. Goody. Um, this one, can you identify it? You cannot really, so just throw it here for now. Any other scrolls I want to take right now? Confusion, you can't even learn. You can't really learn any others. That seems to be everything. So I guess we don't really need to take Hurry any up. others. Okay, we have a fair bit of stuff here. If now let's look insist. around up here. I think we found, uh, what's her name in here? So unfortunately, she's dead. And here we have Thaldorn. Hello. I don't want any trouble. What are you doing here? Get out of this building before I call the guards. We can't do that until you answer some questions. You're here to kill me, aren't you? You can't kill me. Do you know who I am? I'm Thaldorn, one of the leaders of the Iron Throne. Hmm. Where can we find documents that will implicate your organization for its involvement with the bandit raids and iron shortage? Tell us or die. Please don't hurt me. You can find everything you need with Realtar. He's the true leader of the operation. He always carries everything on his person. Am I free to go? If you tell us where the leaders of the Iron Throne are located, we might let you go free. The other leaders, Brunos and Realtar, they're at Candlekeep, attending business with some benefactors from the south. Will you let me go now, please? You're free to go. 
When we threatened Thaldor and he told us that Realtar and Brunos' his business partners are at Candlekeep. So that's probably where we're going to have to go. Is there anything else of value or use back here, I wonder? Nothing in there. Ah! Okay, lightning bolt, old person, but we have two more letters. Let's see. Father, I received your letter, and I can assure you that the mercenaries led by Frederick Lionheart will no longer trouble our operations. I have dealt with them personally. Before dying, they were most forthcoming in their revelations. It is as you had surmised. They were agents of the Zentrum. I am also writing to tell you that I cannot attend the meeting at Candlekeep. Some problems have arisen with the Chill and the Black Talons. They have had trouble working with each other, and I am needed there to smooth over any dissension. I am sorry that I will not be at your side. Saravok. Well, that's a bloody lie. Realtar, my superiors are intrigued by your proposal. I would like to discuss it further, but not through correspondence such as this. The Harpers and Zents have been very active in this region of late. It would be very unfortunate if they tried to disrupt an alliance between our two organizations. If you, Brunos, and Thaldorn were to meet with us in the safety of Candlekeep, my superiors would be much relieved. Please send a response ASAP. Tooth. From my investigations, I have learned that the true leaders of the Iron Throne are meeting within Candlekeep, my former home. I must inform Duke Eltan at once. We shall. I don't think there's anything I need to pick up or take with me right now. How are you on ammo? Oh, you are ready to use something else. Let me throw arrows and ice in here. You can continue using the rest of the plus one arrows that are there at the moment. Let's see. We need to get all of these identified, which we will. If you insist. Let's head downstairs. Please. This group shows you exceptional. And another if level down. Insist. And here if we are. You insist. All right. You must gather Let's your party before venturing. Let's see about getting the flaming Hello. Fist. Hello there, friends. May I have a word? Relax, I am not here to hurt you. I know you've been attacked at almost every turn, but I am an ally, true and sure. And why should I believe you? You have no reason to trust me, but you also have no reason not to. I mean, regardless, I am but a messenger. I was told by Scar to keep an eye on you, though you seem quite capable of taking care of yourselves. In any case, I think you would benefit from a visit with Scar or Duke Elton. This could all be an elaborate trap. Can you prove your intent? You really must try to calm yourself. Guards and villains may hide around many corners, but friends do as well. Just go to the Flaming Fist headquarters in the southwest quadrant of the city. Scar and Duke Elton await you there. I will. But I'll do that in the next episode. As And I will also do some, uh... Whatever it is. Uh identifying of my items and such. That is quite important after all. Let me get some healing on us. We'll do some rest as well. Have any more? You do. You have one more. Alright, go ahead and cast this on everyone else. That said, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here because it has gone on long enough. Next episode, we'll go see the Duke and Scar and report in on what we learned. And then we'll get all our new items identified and everything will be... That'll be in the next episode. So until then, I'm Chester44. That is Frederick Leinhardt, Atlantis, Bronwyn, Minsk, Imwen, and Dinair. This has been a Let's Play of Baldur's Gate. And I shall see you all.